This is the full presentation of our paper, Continual Learning Under Domain Transfer with Sparsynaptic Bursting, by myself, Jeff Kloon, and Nicholas Cheney. The problem we are trying to solve is called catastrophic forgetting, wherein a neural network trained over a sequence of tasks loses its ability to perform previously acquired functions as additional learning occurs. This happens because the weights which encode a function learned earlier in the sequence are overridden by new learning. Typically, this problem is overcome by breaking the temporal structure of learning with IID training, such that all inputs are equally likely to be seen at any given moment, and so cannot be forgotten as such. But this method won't suffice for cases in which online sequential learning is required. Other solutions include methods which attempt to approximate IID training, like replay, or that regularize or constrain learning in some way. In this paper, we investigate a method which has kinship with conditional computation and fast weight memory systems, for which information is dynamically routed through a quickly evolving network by a supervising controller that adapts more slowly. Specifically, our model consists of a convolutional classifier and a synaptic regulatory network, which produces a mask for every layer of the classifier that is then applied prior to the forward pass. To train our model, we use the Online Aware Meta Learning Algorithm, or OML, which has an inner loop of fast learning and an outer loop of slow learning. OML is configured so that the outer loop optimizes the initial weights used for the inner loop such that inner loop learning does not interfere with outer loop predictions. One of the central concerns of our paper is to compare regulators set to different initial biases on regulation. For example, setting the initial bias on regulation to be highly negative results in an initial set of masks that are highly suppressant. Meta-learned regulation will then effectively have to grow sensors in the classifier, but setting the initial bias to the standard value of zero causes initial regulation to be weakly permissive. We then wish to compare regulators which grow and sculpt sensors respectively. After training our model with OML on the OmniClot image dataset, we then test for catastrophic forgetting under domain transfer to ImageNet. First, we see a qualitative difference in the output of our regulators during meta-learning. Next, under domain transfer to ImageNet, we find that the regulator which was forced to grow weights in the classifier significantly outperforms competing methods, including the original OML algorithm and a neural network trained from scratch. This trend holds even when meta-learning data is reduced to less than 3% of the data used in the original treatment. How then does the grow model avoid catastrophic forgetting? Contrary to prior methods, our model does not learn to modularize the classifier or use disjoint sets of weights for different inputs. Rather, we find that the regulator reuses the same weights across tasks under domain transfer. This is shown in the figure to the left, which says that the top-ranked weights for any given task tend to be the top-ranked weights for all tasks. This analysis is presented for the third convolutional layer of the classifier, but holds for all three convolutional layers. Analysis of the class prediction layer will be presented shortly. Additionally, we find that regulation is heavy-tailed and consists of sparse bursts of activity, as visualized on the right. By comparing meta-learned regulation set with different initial biases, we find that performance under domain transfer increases up to a point as the initial bias is made increasingly negative and therefore increasingly suppressant. At the same time, we see in the lower left that this produces regulation that is increasingly scale-free. We therefore hypothesize that successful regulation, by virtue of being approximately scale-free, works by maintaining a balance of activity and suppression, and therefore of plasticity and stability. This resolves the core tension of continual learning. Too much change causes forgetting, while too little change results in bad performance. Finally, on the far right, we see that regulation of the class prediction layer is not task agnostic, like the upstream convolutional layers, but has learned to activate the positive weights of a given task node when that task is being learned, and concurrently suppress the negative weights of the same node. But when the task switches, the inverse occurs. Negative weights of the previously seen task node are activated, and positive weights are suppressed. This both protects prior weights and prevents unwanted activation of the prior task node.